Hello, and welcome to Drafty. In today's video we are going to look deeper into layers and sheets. Ready? Good. Let's begin. In the upper right hand of the drafting table are the layer controls. Unlike traditional drawing programs, the layers in Drafty are fixed. Everything you need nothing more, and nothing less. We have, architecture, scenery, position, dimensions, units, and border. I can click on the buttons to navigate through the different layers, and the currently active layer will be highlighted in light gray. I can also navigate using the number keys 1 through 6. Another difference in how layers behave in Drafty, compared to traditional drawing programs, is that the tools themselves navigate you through the different layers. Pressing the S key, I make a scenic object. I can manipulate the control handles and move it around. Or, I can enter precise values in my contextual menu, to make it the exact size that I want, and place the object precisely where it should be. Now I am going to press the A key to make an architecture object. Note that the architecture object draws on the architecture layer, and I have been navigated to the architecture layer as my active layer. Also, it draws below the scenic object. Additionally, I cannot manipulate the scenic object without moving to the scenery layer. The same goes for all other objects in Drafty. Pipes draw in the positions layer, lights draw on the units layer, and the border and title block on the border layer. I can shift click on any layer to make it invisible, they will then be highlighted in magenta, until I shift click again, to restore the visibility. Drafty offers you up to 30 plates of drafting in every file. For our audio and video designers, that's very useful. For lighting designers, you may only need two or three. All layer names are editable. The section is the only plate that differs from the others, due to our smart section which we will discuss specifically in a separate video. As you can see, the reference lines on the section are in a different location than they are on the other plates. Back on the plot plate I can go and change all of my border styles border location, and other details, all these changes propagate down through every plate that has not yet been modified, or viewed. Thus, at the beginning of a new document, you can set every plate to look the way that you want it to look. Additionally, every plate is capable of having its own graphic style for the border and the title block. Page size and scale can be discreetly controlled on every plate. Happy drafting!